Hi, Hope Assembly of God, Pastor Ted and Kim coming to you from our home, actually. We'd love to have you come by and visit us sometime. But we just wanted to reach out and let you know that we are available to you, uh, both uh, um, Kim and I, and also our staff. We will be keeping regular office hours, so if you need to reach us, don't hesitate to call the church at 410-461-4555. Another information note, tomorrow is Sunday, and so here's what we're going to do. We're going to modify some things. We won't be having our 8.30 service. We won't be having Sunday school, but we're going to be doing a Facebook Live service. That'll be a full service. It will be praise and worship, prayer. We're going to give an opportunity to let you know how to give online, um, and there will be a message that the Lord has put on my heart. Now, here's what we want to do. If you would like to come, you certainly are welcome, and we're going to have plenty of hand sanitizers there for you. But if you are in the place where you're one of those ones that is vulnerable to this, or you just feel concerned about getting together in a crowd, then we encourage you to stay home. But please tune in to this service. It's going to be a great time. And get your family roundabout together and let's worship the Lord together. That will be at 1030. And again, we welcome you to come, but no pressure whatsoever. Don't hesitate to call us. I asked Kim if she would share a scripture and lead us in prayer. And if you join us on Facebook Live, comment so that we know you're yeah. a part of the service. That keeps us connected. That's one of the upsides of social media. So let's use it to our advantage. I think Psalm 91 is so appropriate in what we're facing. And I'm just going to read you some selected verses, but please read all of Psalm 91 yes. and, and let it be what undergirds you during this time of crisis. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Remember, the name of Jesus is still above every name, and my fortress, my God, in whom I will trust. Now this is a key. Therefore, because we're trusting in God through yes. this, no evil will befall you, and no plague or virus will come close to your dwelling. Your Amen. house is protected Amen. by the shadow of the Almighty. He or she that calls upon me, I will deliver and answer. I will be with them in time of trouble, and with long life will I satisfy them. We want to have special prayer over your family and your home, and we especially want to remember all of our medical people yes. who are at the front lines of this and are putting themselves in harm's way to protect the rest of us. Let's especially lift them up during this time. Father God, we come Thank to you Lord. right now yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Thank Jesus. You, God the name that truly is above every name. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, that when we are facing crisis, when we are facing pandemic, that we can get up under the shadow of your grace and your protection and your mercy. Yes, and we Lord. do that right now. Lord, Pastor Ted and I lift up every family and individual in our church. Yes. May your shadow overwhelm them. May they dwell in a place of safety and yes. protection. And God, we are especially lifting up our medical professionals to yes. you. We thank you, God, for their dedication and for their wisdom and their service. And we pray a special hedge of protection around them. Lord, may you be glorified even in the midst of this. May the yes. body of Christ and the church rise up and be a beacon of hope. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We love you all so Amen. much. Can't wait to all get together again. Amen. One more thing. If you're not on Facebook, you can go to our website at hereishope.church. God bless you. We love you. Here's how to use our online giving option. Open your web browser and go to hereishope.church. From there, click the menu button on the right and click Give. This will take you to our giving page. From here, you can make a one-time donation by simply selecting the fund and following the steps we'll show later. If you'd like to set up reoccurring giving, hit the sign up button in the upper right corner, scroll down, and create a new Give Plus account. From here, we'll ask you for your important information, and you will need to create a password. Please notice the requirements that are required to make a password. Once you've done that, your account will be created, and you can log in using the information you just created. 
From here we can set up multiple givings. So we're going to start with tithes and offerings, select when we'd like it to come, how often, and the date, and the amount. We can also give to multiple areas of the church in one reoccurring payment. After we've chosen what we're going to give, we're going to hit the next button down on the bottom and it will take us to the options we have to pay. We can use credit card or you can give using a check. Once you've hit the next button in the bottom right corner, it will give you a confirmation page where it will ask you to verify that you are ready to make a payment. There is an option to offset the processing fee, which helps the church greatly. Once you hit donate now, your payment will go through and you will receive a confirmation. Thank you for giving.